Hi everyone, welcome back to Catherine's Plates. Today do I have a fast, easy version of ground beef stroganoff. We're going to be using some ramen noodles. I know you have these in your pantry and you're like, what am I going to do with these? This recipe right here. I have a 30 minute recipe on stroganoff, but this one's going to cut that time in half. Okay, if you're ready for this one, go grab those ramen noodles and let's go ahead and get started putting this one together. On my channel, I have several recipes using ramen noodles. I will link those down below if you want to check them out. They're really quick recipes, so go check those out. The first thing that I'm going to do right now is I've got an onion and I've peeled it and I'm going to chop it into small pieces and then we're going to start getting that ready in our large pot or large skillet. We tend to like big chunky onions when I cook because they saute down and they absorb all the flavors of what you're cooking. If you want to dice them even smaller, you can do that. You can leave out the onion and use like some onion powder if you want to. Right, I'm just gonna get my garlic cloves going right here really quick while I got them here. Got about three cloves. I'm just gonna go ahead and take the skin off. Everything's gonna happen in one pot here. Now I've got it over medium high heat. I'm gonna add one tablespoon of butter. Now hang on to your butter. We're gonna need it here in a little bit and then one tablespoon of some cooking oil. We're gonna start heating this up and then I'm gonna go ahead and add the onion. What we're gonna do now is saute the onions down until they're nice and soft. Depending on the size of the onion is how long they will cook for. Generally about two to three minutes. Okay, my onions are nice and softened. Got a little color to them, which is great. What we're gonna do now is add our ground beef. I've got one and a half pounds. This is just a ground chuck. Okay, I'm just gonna break this up and then we're gonna cook this down until the meat is no longer pink. I had to fight five pieces for that ground beef. <laughs> he did. The stores have been without meat and food for a while, but now that we've got it, we were able to grab some uh, pounds of ground beef and some chicken to work with this week. You know, so we're not eating out. So I'd sent my son and my husband out scavenging <laughs> to find something for us. Yeah, I kicked him in the knee and ran. <laughs> Y'all don't believe that. <laughs> <laughs> no, this is Texas. Everybody's friendly to here. Okay, the ground beef is all nice and brown now. What I'm going to do is add our garlic. I've got my cloves here that I've already peeled. I'm going to add it. And then what we're going to do is cook this an additional minute, stirring it. That way it'll cook the garlic. Now make sure that you drain your ground beef before you add your garlic. I'm just going to cook this for like 30 seconds to a minute. Okay, what we're going to do now is add three tablespoons of butter. What this is going to do is serve as a thickener with our flour here. We're going to add three tablespoons of flour. Mix this all together and stir it all for one minute. Okay, we're going to add one can of cream of soup. Now, I'm doing a celery here. If you want to do a mushroom, you can do that. And then I'm going to add four cups of beef broth. We're going to raise our temperature on the burner to a high so we can bring this to a boil. I'm just going to stir this to mix it all. 
I'm going to give this a taste also. I'm going to check for salt and pepper. This is the time we're going to season. All right, let's go in. Mm. Let's add some pepper. And some salt. About a quarter teaspoon of each. To your taste. Okay, while we're waiting for that to come to a boil, let's talk about ramen noodles. You can use any flavor package because we are not going to use that seasoning packet that comes in the noodles, okay? We've made our own stroganoff flavor over here in the pot. So what I'm going to do is just get these ready. So I'm just going to break them. It's on the other side. <laughs> and then these you can just toss. If you look in the pot, we have a boil going on now, and that's perfect. So we're going to go ahead now and add all of our noodles, the three packages. Okay, we're going to get it into the liquid here and start stirring it around. Now you don't need to put a lid on it, just stir it around and keep it in the liquid. Make sure there's, you know, nothing is sticking to the bottom of your pot, so just scrape along that. This will take just a few minutes for these noodles to cook. Now I have a recipe using um, egg noodles, and you know, those take about 10 minutes. This here will take about two to three minutes. A great tasty recipe to use for your ramen noodles that you have buried in the back of your pantry. <laughs> you don't know what to do with. All right, we're going to let that sit there. Our ramen noodles are cooked inside of our stroganoff. You can see that they absorb all of that flavor and that liquid, the sauce. Now, I tend to cook my ramen noodles. Okay, ramen noodles. <laughs> The police oh, it's true. It's true. I do say Raymond. I'm so sorry. But I've been saying ramen for you guys. I don't Food know why. The police are knocking at the door. Yeah, I, I always say that. Raymond. I don't know why I grew up saying it like that. I always thought that was right, but apparently not. Okay, so what we're going to do now is turn off the burner. Now cook the noodles per your desired texture, okay? If you like them softer, cook them like that. All right. We're not done yet. We're going to add half a cup of sour cream. Probably about what I have in here, maybe. Now, if you don't like sour cream, you don't have to add it. It just adds another little layer of creaminess, a little tanginess to it. Can you all see that stroganoff goodness here? <laughs> Okay, you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to put it on a plate and I'm going to give it a taste for you. delicious. That's better than anything you can get out of a can, let me tell you. <laughs> Not just plain ramen anymore, is it? Ramen, ground beef, stroganoff. It's so delicious. So creamy. Great flavor. Okay, go make your own. <laughs> give me a thumbs up on this one. Don't forget to give me a comment down below. And if you're new to my channel, make sure you hit that subscribe button and that bell notification so you'll know when shows like this one here are posted. Make sure you share this one, guys. You know a lot of people have ramen and they need ideas. Don't forget to check out my other ideas down below for ramen dishes. I will see you on the next episode. Mm.